What's happening everyone, Nicky Hawkins here, West Ham Fan TV, back once again with another video. This time, I'm filling in for Scott um, for the preview as he's uh, come over here or something like that um, for the upcoming game against Southampton. But before that, let me tell you, this, this video is sponsored by the good fellows over at uh, OneFootball. OneFootball app gives you all the up-to-date news, stats, facts, uh, all the great stuff about football. In fact, I'm going to give you a little demo of the app to show you how good it actually is. So the one football app is here. If you open it up, I've got the live ticker for West Ham Southampton already on. You can go back. I'm following West Ham as my team, obviously. Um, you can go pick up your international team as well. But here's all the news. Um, this is how you get your news. You get the news in the in the bottom in the in the little ticker down here. If you click that, um, there's a story about David Moyes must stop teasing fans. Include 18 million pound. West Ham goal po go poacher against Southampton must start tomorrow, in my opinion. Um, but look, there's loads of stuff. There's videos. There's there's the matches coming up. So you've got West Ham Southampton. Gives you a live ticker there. Line up stats. Yeah, I ain't got no stats yet because the match hasn't been played. But you can go to things like... Let's go back to the news. Let's go to transfers. Let's, if you want to learn a little bit more about Jared Bowen, we click on that there. Click on Jared Bowen. 23 years, England, 175 centimetres. This is for this season, 60%, 7% pass accuracy. He's only paid two of 27. That's his West Ham stats, of course. If you want to go and have a look at somebody else, let's say, for instance, Abdullah Torre, who was linked to us lately. Let's have a look, see how he gets on. Three goals this season, 68 touches per match. He's played 25 for 26, 84% pass accuracy. Looks like a good sign, and we should, we should definitely sign that guy. Um, but that's the one football app, guys. It's a brilliant app. Um, honestly, I don't use anything else. You'll see me using it in this video. But if you want to download that, link is in the description down below. Now, because the app is so good, I'm going to use the live ticker. And Scott's the expert, and I'm not the expert. I don't have time to do the research like he does uh, to give you the preview. Uh, so let's get right into it. Uh, West Ham, Southampton tomorrow, of course, a huge game. Um, a must win for West Ham. Uh, so let me read off some of these stats and facts for you now. West Ham have won each of their last four Premier League games against Southampton. Only against Blackburn between 2006-2008 have the Hammers had a, a longer winning run against any opponent in the competition. That's five. After drawing their first Premier League away game uh, against West Ham, 3-3 in May 1994, none of Southampton's last visits, um, which is 16, to the Hammers, uh, in the competition has ended level. So basically, we haven't drawn a game. A must win for West Ham. That's a positive. Um, <clears throat> West Ham have won more Premier League games overall, 17, and more Premier League home games, 12, against Southampton than they have any other side. Uh, no side has won fewer Premier League points at home uh, than West Ham this season. Only 12 points at home, which is shocking. Um, meanwhile, Southampton, who are in a great run of form up to late, uh, have won a league high share of 59% of their points away from home uh, this term, 20 out of 34 points being won away from home. Since Fulham beating Fulham 3-1 in February 2019, West Ham have lost their last 17 league games win, conceding the first goal, both the longest current run in the division and West Ham's longest, longest such losing run in the competition. Since and including a 2-1 win over Watford in the end of November um, to end an eight-game winless run in the Premier League, Southampton have earned 25 points from their 14 Premier League games since. One eight, drew one, lost five. Only the current two top sides, Liverpool Man City, have moved more in that time. This is not looking good. Uh, West Ham have dropped 22 league, league points from winning positions in the Premier League this season, more than any other side in no campaign in the competition. The Dam has dropped more points also 22 in 2010, 11 and 16, 17. That was the first season at the London Stadium, I'm sure. West Ham defender Issa Diop has scored two goals in his last three Premier League games, as many as he had in his previous 52 in the competition. 75% of the Frenchman's goals in the competition has been scored in his six games in 2020. Big game for Issa Diop tomorrow. Uh, Southampton's Pierre-Emile Holberg, has had more shots without scoring than any other player in the Premier League this season. Southampton's Stuart Armstrong has scored three goals in his last five Premier League games, as many as he could in the first 44 appearances in the competition. Now, that's the sort of content you get on one football. So, please, go and download that app. 
Um, yeah, personal opinions on this one, guys. Southampton are... We've got to beat them tomorrow. If we don't beat them, the only thing that's going to save us, um, if you read the papers today, is coronavirus from going down. We need the points tomorrow. There's good points, there's bad points. Southampton have been fantastic away from home. We've been terrible at home. But it's now or never. We've got to get them points. If we don't get them points today, I feel we're doomed. Mark Noble has said we need five wins in the last 11 games uh, to guarantee safety. We've only won six all season, so it must start tomorrow. We've got some tough games after that. Wolves, um, Chelsea, Tottenham, Man United still to come. Arsenal away. Um, so these... These are the games we need to, especially the home games, we need to target to get them points. Otherwise, I don't think we're going to survive, boys. Um, Southampton have obviously been in some great form of late. A um, bit of a rocky um, patch at, at the moment, uh, but they have got one of the top scorers in the league. Um, and he's, he's, he's absolutely on fire, so we need to, uh, we need to make sure we've got Danny Ings within our pockets. <sighs> How do I see this one going? Um, I think we'll win. I think we'll win. I think we have to win. Um, Southampton, I think they've got 31 or 34, but I think they've got 34 points now. I think they're pretty much um, one or two wins away from safety. Um, a complete opposite to when we, we played them earlier on in the season. Southampton are one of the ones dead bottom of the league and, and, and desperate for wins. Now we find ourselves in that position. I think we'll win tomorrow. I think we'll win 2-0. Um, and I'm going to go with Antonio to uh, keep his winning streak against his old club alive and score another goal against them. Guys, Scott will be back next week. Sorry if you didn't enjoy this preview. It's been quickly put together. Uh, once again, thanks for the guys over at One Football uh, for sponsoring this video. Um, you can download that in the link in the description down below. And <sighs> must win tomorrow. Keep the faith. One thing left to say. Come on, you irons. <laughs>